everyone. Happy Saturday and Happy New Year. And as you know, with the new year, changes always come. And one change that I did, you might notice, is my hair here. Yes, I had about three and a half inches cut off the back. It's a lot shorter than it was. And what I'm trying to do is even it out a little bit more because my length right here is about here in the front. And, uh, you know, I just couldn't cut it off that short. So this is about as short as I want to go to shoulder length. And I will be growing it out again, so it will be much longer at the end of the year. Hopefully it will be. My hair doesn't grow very fast. But, uh, like I said, changes for the new year was my hair for one thing. And uh, a few changes to my channel. One thing I want to do is more Shop With Me videos. Now, that's what today is going to be. I got some video footage at a couple of places. And I will also be showing a little bit of a shopping haul that I got at one of the places and a few more thrift stores and I have a few things from uh, Tuesday morning and from Home Goods. So let's go ahead and get started on the antique mall that I went to. I want to show you some footage from there. This is one of my favorite booths to go into. I believe they have two because there is another one that you'll see at the end that has more of the plaid in it but a little bit more woodsy to it. I love all these picture frames here. This booth is just packed full of wonderful items. And it's interesting how they sell the little Scrabble letters. And here is another booth. I love this cabinet here. A lot of people were having sales on this day. There's just so many pretty things in this booth. I love this mirror. And look at this Christmas tree here. And that I really love with the fleur de lis on it. A lot of people still had uh, Christmas in their booths for sale. I like this sign here that they did on an old window. A little too pricey for me, but I do like it. I like this mirror and this arch too. Let's check out this booth over here. I like this mirror back here and this old cabinet. This one's really packed full of stuff. It's kind of hard to get through this little area. As you see, I'm having a little bit of problem here. It's really tight to get in here. check out this cabinet. I'm 
trying to turn around here a little bit. Like I said, it's a little tight in this one. I love that picture there. These chairs are really nice. I like this dresser right here. And, you know, I'm not sure what this little thing is up above, but it's kind of cute. Oh, and I like this picture frame here, this oval one. So many things to look at in this booth. Check this hutch out. I love this hutch. I would love to find something like this that I could uh, fix up myself. A little too pricey for me. I would love to have it though. I like this stool. I have an old stool. I'm thinking about maybe doing mine like that. I think I might paint it black and then sand off a little bit. And I love this cabinet here. I just love this leaded glass on the door. Of course, I have nowhere to put it in my house. And check out these beautiful ornaments here. Even the frog is cute. You know, I'm not really up on artists who make these ornaments, so oh, I love the Santa right there. And everybody needs a little bunny table. I have never seen anything like this before. Check out these little bunnies that hold on this glass top. You never know what you're going to find at an antique mall. And I love these plates. You only get two plates, two saucers, and the two cups. And it's $26. So I'm not, and I think this one had a sale on their booth too, but a uh, little, little too much for me to pay for just two. And you know, I really need four <laughs> for my kitchen table. I kind of like the way this booth is. I love that. Even, you know, I'm not really fond of the deer hoofs on there, but uh, I really did like this booth. It really, the settee, I really like it. I just loved everything in here with the colors and this door. I love this door. This little house right here and I love to have old lanterns like that the gas lanterns I love this table right here too Wouldn't mind having these bookcases. Of course, those things are never for sale in these booths. It's hard to find furniture that they actually have for sale in some of these booths. Now, I like this dresser here. This is cute too. 
Now it looks like they made this bench here out of a little bed frame. This is one of my uh, favorite booths to look at, but they are a little pricey in it. Now I love this awning right here. I love all this chippy stuff in here, and the little chandeliers, and all the watering cans. And look, a soup terrain. That's a sheep. I've never seen one. <laughs> and I love this picture frame back here, but it's way too big for anything I could use in my house. And I love this bird cage. So many pretty things in here. Very French country looking to me. I like how they displayed these right here. Now this booth, I'm mainly showing you these, it's like you'd have on the top, top part of your hutch, these black pieces. Now they are not for sale. I've seen these for years in here and I would love to have some pieces like this. Sometimes I wish they would sell these things because this is my favorite piece right here. I would love to have something that looked like this. Now this is another one of my favorite booths. Uh, there's probably about four, maybe four or five. And uh, this one's always with the old uh, lace and clothing. It's always in white and it's really pretty. old shoes. I love this dresser here. And this table. This booth, I, I just had to show it because it's got some antlers in it, it's got some crystal in it, it's got chandeliers hanging. It's just a, a mix of everything, but you know, it kind of looks cool when you look at it. And those lanterns there down there, those are cast iron, they're super heavy. And look at this ornate mirror back here. And then you got antlers right next to it. I said, but it, it works when you look at it. But I love these old lights and these chandeliers here. Of course, they don't go with anything in my house, but I do love them. I love this lamp right here with the crystals. little lamps right here and candlestick holders. I really love these. This booth right here is just looking so springy to me. It has some uh, really nice furniture. I like this corner cabinet piece and just look at all this stuff over here that they have. They got lots of uh, silver trays. I didn't look at them, but they're probably, I'm guessing, plated because there's so many of them. I love these uh, 
bookcases that they have in here. Like I said, of course, none of them are for sale. pretty things and how to display things like all these glass bottles and all the silver trays. As you can see there's lots of silver trays in here. Lots of them. Look at this, this is a screen. It's obviously a window screen. I really like that, it's oval. I like that old trophy right there. It's really pretty the way it's patinaed. Check out this big urn. It is huge. <laughs> 44 inches high by 33 inches deep. That thing is huge. Look at this secretary hutch. This one's a lot bigger than the one that I have, but it reminds me of mine, but on a bigger scale. And as you can see as I pull back how big this urn is to that piece of furniture. Yeah, no way I could afford this thing. <laughs> now here's that booth I was showing you in the beginning. I think this is another one of theirs because it has some of the same items with a bunch of the plaid, but it's a little more, a little more woodsy, and they have more of the picnic baskets in here, thermoses, throws. It's just jam-packed full of stuff. Now, I did get a couple throws here a few years ago. It's always interesting to look at these booths and see how people decorate them. It was a little hard to get into this one and check everything out. Now this piece of furniture, I love, love, love it, but as you can see, not for sale. <laughs> Fortunately, that's a lot of things when you come in here you see, and they're not for sale, but I, I love this hutch too. Well, you know, I'm sad to say I didn't get anything. I really, really wanted that blue hutch. Yes, I did. I gotta find something like that that I can do myself. But I'd make mine white instead. But I did like the blue, because I do like blue. Now, that place is called uh, Colorado Antique Gallery, and it is a, they say it's over uh, 50,000 square feet, and there's about 285 dealers in there. And you know, it usually takes a couple of hours to go through there, and I know I had a lot of footage in there, it was a little a long footage for that. And I didn't show you everything because, you know, it, there's just so much to show. But it's really fun to go to and you gotta at least expect to be there a couple of hours so you can see everything. So the next place I want to show you is the Mile High Thrift Store. And I did get a few things from there. So let's go ahead and see the footage and then we'll come back and see what I bought. 
I love to come to this thrift store. It is one of the biggest ones that is close to my house. It's uh, not as close as the Goodwills are, so I don't get to come out here very often. I am here on my lunch doing this real quick. And I like how they organize their shelves. Like I have all the glass and the crystal type stuff together. They have all the metals together and they color coordinate too. So it's kind of nice if you're looking for a specific item. And I love that piece in the back right there. I have to check that out later. I see some lanterns down there. I love these pieces. Now I'm mainly looking for red, green, and blue tags today. They are the ones on sale. I like this red lantern here. It's a pretty good size. It's got a candle in it. It's $9.99, but it's not on sale. But still a good price for that. Uh, red tags are 75% off, and the blue and green are half off. So I'm mainly looking for those. Looking for some French country items mainly today. Now it's kind of crowded in here, so I wasn't able to get a lot of the shelves on video because there's people in the way and I didn't want to get any people in my video. But I try to get as many of the shelves for you guys to see. It does take a little while to go through this store. I like that piece back there. I want to check that one out too. It's like you can see things way in the back and you just have to keep looking. Now the Santa, I like the Santa. Oh, I see some nutcrackers. Now this is the their wood items over here. So you'll see a different mix of everything. And then on the clothing aisles here, they have different things. And check this out with the roosters. As you can see, this is a clothing. They have lots of clothes here. And on top of the shelves, they have knickknacks too, as you can see. Oh, and I love this. It's a very pretty birdcage here. Love that color. Great for spring. Okay, are you ready to see what I got? You might notice this from the video that was in the back on that shelf. Now, this was $7.99. Okay, red tag. I got it 75% off. This is a candle holder. And you know, I kind of like the way the colors are. I might put this in my study. I'm not sure, but I really do like that. I've never seen anything like that before. Now you also saw this that I closed in on. Now you can tell it's missing one of the canisters, but I probably won't use it this way anyway. And uh, this was $7.99 too, but uh, I'll show you these. I like the round canister and they got the little rooster on there. Um, I did not get this on sale because it was a yellow tag. And uh, that's okay. I mean, this is a good price, I think, for $7.99. Now here's another item that I did not get on a sale. Now these are a stack, there's a set of three in here and these are wood books and it was $19 for all three of them. Let's see if I can get these out here for you. I'll move a few things. So I thought that was a good deal for that. So yes, I have this one and then you have this one right here. And I don't think that there is any prices on here, which I don't see the regular prices. But this looks like something that you get like a Tuesday morning. I've seen some of these there before. So I thought $20, well, $19, $99, $20. Yeah, so I thought that was a good price. And like I said, there is no original tag on these with a price, just a barcode. But I thought these were really nice because I like to use these to add height to things when I decorate. Set this one down. Okay, now I went ahead and got this lamp. Now this lamp was $9.99 and it was half off and it does work. 
they happen to have where you can plug it in. And there was a light bulb in another one, so I put it in here, and it does work. I just need to get a lampshade, which I'm sure I can find one real easily. And I was thinking about painting this to look more French country. And I might put it on top of my secretary hutch. I'll see what it looks like this way first and uh, see what I want to do with that. All right, so you also saw this in the background. Now, I really like this. And this was $4.99. Okay, got it half off. Yeah, I really like this. I might make this white and distress it. Not sure. We'll have to see. I have to see what I want to do. You know, a lot of these things you have to uh, change up. So I'll set this down here without making everything fall. <laughs> okay, so I got these. Now, these were in different areas, but I think they uh, go with each other pretty much. Now, these were $4.99 a piece, and they're green, so they were half off. And there is original tag on this one saying $14. So I think that's a good price right there. So basically I got two, these two right here for $4.99 total. All right, and then you saw that Santa that I kind of quested. Now he was not on sale, but I mean, look how big he is. He is huge and he's wood. He was only $4.99, so I couldn't pass that up. I am thinking about revamping him a little bit and he'd look good in a wreath. And you know what? I also thought He's a good template. I might even start making some of these. You know, because like I said, I want to start doing my roosters. And I'm thinking about doing more crafts that I would be selling. And this would be, I think this would be really cute for uh, Christmas time. So, uh, but I might make them on just a little bit smaller scale. But that's a good template there. Like I said, i got to revamp it a little bit differently. I'm not really fond of this piece here that's supposed to be the mustache. I might just take it off. We'll see. Now, let me get uh, another thing that I did a close-up on was the birdcage. Now, this was not on sale, but it was $12.99, and I really didn't think that was uh, bad of a price because it does have some lavender in it. It has, I'm not really fond of the bow, but it has one of those uh, burlap sunflowers in it that you uh, get at Hobby Lobby, which are a little bit more expensive. And of course, there's no original tag on this one, but it does hang, and it is a good size, and I love the color. Be great for spring. Probably take the stuff out inside. Maybe keep the lid. Sorry for the noise here. Now there is one last thing. There's actually three of them. Now there should have been four because I was looking at the back because it's a set of four that you buy separately and you hang them but I wouldn't be hanging them anyway. And I went ahead and pulled the tag off a little bit because it was from Ross and you can see it was $4.99 there. They like to cover the tag, so I wanted to see what it was. Because sometimes they'll price it more than what the original one was, but I just wanted to see. So it was $7.99 at Ross, $4.99 at the thrift store, half off though for green. There's three of them that I got. And I just think that these will look cute just being propped up somewhere. So there's this one. These are very French country. And this one. And then I have the last one over there. And that one. So this would look really nice like on a bookcase on the shelves or I might even put them up on my fireplace mantle. Don't know what direction I'm going yet. I haven't, uh, I have to admit, I haven't got all of my uh, Christmas takedown done still. You know, I'm going to get the rest of it done this weekend. So now I want to show you a couple things, well, a few things that I got at, um, I got a few things at Tuesday morning, uh, a couple things at uh, Home Goods, and I got a little bit from Goodwill. Now I don't have any video footage of the stores, but I do have the items that I bought, so let me put these away and I'll grab the next section that we're going to see. All right, next, I'm going to show you some items that I got at the Goodwill. I went to two different Goodwills, and this is what I got. Now, I ended up getting two of these. It's good to find two. You know, they weren't even near each other. They're like five aisles diff apart from each other. And uh, this one has the original price in it of $12.99. So these were uh, $6.99 a 
a piece and the white tags that day were 30% off. So I got 30% off of this. Sorry, I'm making a little bit of noise here. Now this thing, oh my gosh, this thing is super heavy. And I love this. It's metal on the base and this is cement. Now this was $6.99 too. Hardly can see it there. And I got 30% off. So I love this piece. It's just so super heavy. I think I'm gonna put it on the floor. Hold on just a minute. Definitely don't want to drop that on my glass table here. Okay, now this right here is another white ticket that was 30% uh, off. So it's $4.99 and I got 30% off and I love this. I love this, love this, love this. Now I'm trying to do more French country Tuscan in my home, which I normally do anyway. But I'm trying to do some change up things here. Now this I got, it's just one of those... Uh, floating shelves. Okay, so now I have this floating shelf here. Now, I know you get these at Hobby Lobby. This might even be from Hobby Lobby, not sure. But this was uh, $5.99 and I got it 30% off. Now, I am gonna paint this one white and distress it a little bit because I wanna hang it above my bed so I can put some things on there. I think that will look really nice. Let me set this down over here. Okay, now. Now this piece I didn't get on sale, but I really like it. I mean, it's really huge. And uh, let's see, I might not be able to see it too well. It's purple with the black. That was five ninety nine. I'm sorry for that glare. Yeah. So look at that. This would look really nice on my dining room table. I think with some stuff in it for spring. I think I'm going to keep it this color. It might look good white, but I think I'm going to keep it this color. So I got one last thing from the Goodwill. And I mainly got it for the picture frame. I mean, you could use it. I mean, it kind of ties in with my French country. And uh, it was $5.99 there. But tan tags were half off. So I got that half off. So basically $3. It's, and it is a nice picture too in there. But uh, I might just use it for the frame. We'll see. Okay, so now, let me set that here. So it doesn't fall. <laughs> Now, let me grab a couple things that I got at Home Goods. All right, so here's a few things that I got at Home Goods. Now, I love this canister. I'm going more French country in my kitchen here. So I'm gonna get a few new canisters and I'm actually gonna use this for my doggy treats to put in. I thought it was really pretty. It does come with some chalk here. And this was only $9.99, okay. Then, you can probably see these lanterns right here. Aren't these gorgeous? So, looks like there was a medium one, because this one has an S on it for small. This one has an L for large. All right, so the small one. Now these, they don't have anything up here, but they do open. They have glass on all sides, and, just a minute, if I can get it open. They do open. It'd be easier to open up this one. So, they do open, and, uh, this one, I measured it. This is about 20 and a half inches tall from the bottom up to the knob here. And it was $24.99. I thought that was a great price, but this one has an even greater price. It would have been nice to find the medium one, but these are the only two they had. As you can see, this one's huge. Same thing, it opens up, it's got the glass at the bottom. And this one is uh, 30 inches tall. And it was $39.99. All right, well, I didn't pay that for these, no. So I got my $24.99, $34.99, and $9.99. So let's see, what do we have? So like 50, 60, so about $75. Well, I used $50 worth of my reward coupons. So I basically got this for $25, Yeah, you know, all these things. So that is such a great deal to get that. Well, I love shopping home goods. Get those points, get the rewards. I save up my coupons and I got some nice stuff with it. All right, so now I have one more place to show you and that's Tuesday morning. So let me go grab those things really quick. The last place I'm gonna show you is from Tuesday morning. Now here are some of those boxes like I showed you that I got the three different sizes. There are the wood ones. Now uh, I got two this size. Like I said, I like to use these for height and I love these. French country. 
They were uh, $8.99 a piece on that. And then the smaller size here was $5.99. And I really like these. A little uh, magnetic snap on it there, too. Then I got a couple of these bookends, which I'm not going to use as bookends. I thought these were nice. Okay. And they were $9.99 a piece. All right, you're probably seeing something here. Yes, very unique. You never know what you're gonna find a Tuesday morning. I've never seen anything like these. And uh, I'm gonna show you what they look like. They're pretty big. I got two of them, I had two. I gotta be very careful because this is not all one piece and I'm gonna show you. So it was uh, $19.99 each, okay? Nice and big these are, French country. I thought, oh, some kind of potpourri type stuff in there would look really cute. And they were on the top shelf, of course, so short me. Reaching for it, brings one down. I'm like, well, how do you, what do you, how do you take the top off? Well, guess what? Huh, it just comes off. Yeah. And guess what? It's like a fishbowl here. Nothing's connected. It's just sitting on there. And I thought, you know, with me being a klutz, I am so glad that I didn't tip it too much, bringing it down, because this would have fallen off. Yeah, they do not uh, connect at all. You just, you have your base, you just set the little, like, fishbowl thing, you know, like you use it for a fishbowl, right there. And this doesn't have any connector either, it just sits right on top, that's it. But you know what, I've never seen anything like these before. And I had two, which was good. I'm thinking about putting these on each side on top of my entertainment center there in the family room because I want to bring some more light color in there because I have all the dark furniture. So that is it for my shopping haul and my come shop with me video. Now I'm sorry it went a little long. Um, I condensed it down for the antique mall but as of course you know that would have been maybe an hour's worth of video just to see that, to see more stuff. But I tried to pick a few highlights from there. So, you know, um, changes in the kitchen still coming, you know, on the walls here in my little breakfast nook, I'm gonna be doing a little wall technique in here. Once that comes, waiting for it to come. Probably might do a few things with the niches with it too. Um, don't want to give away too much in the kitchen. I got another plan in the kitchen that's going to take a while to do. I'm going to test it with one thing in the kitchen first, and I'll let you guys see that for sure. So we're going to go ahead and end out the video here today. And, uh, you know, I can't think of anything else. I don't want to give away too much, you know. But I said I'm, I'm thinking about doing these Shop With Me videos. So, you know, if you like the Shop With Me videos, and you want me to do many, many more of those, you know, just let me know in the comments. Oh, and another thing with my channel, I am going to be doing my videos on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And the reason I'm going to be doing that is because I'm going to be bringing back the Thursday uh, tablescape videos. And I'll probably switch back to Monday, Wednesday, and Friday more when the summer comes because I have to do yard work on the weekend, so it's hard to get a video up on Saturday. So that is going to do it for the video today, and I want to wish everybody a very wonderful weekend, and I'll see you on Tuesday, so bye for now.